Okay, this plane right here, this is Iliam the Bakeri. It's a member of the Mallow family, Malvaceae, same family as cotton and okra, also as chocolate. Uh, and this is a relatively rare plant, only known from the volcanic soils of Northern California, and I believe a couple populations in Southern Oregon. Uh, it, it, the seeds respond to fire, so anytime you get a fire, they come up uh, gangbusters. There was a fire here about 10 years ago, and these, these plants just come up from a perennial rhizome. They germinated then, the seeds laid in the soil for 20 or 30 years, uh, then the fire set them off, uh, got them to germinate, and uh, basically then they, they come up, they got a perennial rhizome, and uh, it's a pretty good population here. There's about, about 300 plants just here on the uh, northwest side of that dormant volcano over there. So what I'm going to do is all these, these are basically the capsules. See, the flowers are done. Beautiful pink hollyhock flowers when they're going off. Flowers are done. All I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these little, like, you know, kind of irritating, uh, these, these little seed capsules covered in irritating hairs and I'm just gonna you know empty them out into a little bag right here I'm gonna collect all the seed seeds don't germinate unless you give them a hot water treatment I don't know why it is it's just the case of probably a probably a combination of both chemical and uh, physical germination inhibitors in the seed right there the seeds if you could see them there's a couple that fell out are just basically those those tiny little kidney shaped things so I'm gonna you know, I'm going to take them somewhere else, uh, you know, not too far away, maybe 10 or 15 miles away where you got the same thing going on, uh, very mineral uh, or you know, non-organic uh, volcanic soils like this and with the shit. And I'm going to take them there and make a cup of coffee for myself because I have a severe caffeine addiction. I'll, uh, just before the water gets to boiling, maybe 20 or 30 degrees shy of boiling, uh, I'm going to put these in a little cup, push some hot water over them, let them sit for an hour, put them in a jar, and then uh, once I'm done with my coffee, I'll just scatter them around uh, the area, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll germinate next spring. Uh, and that'll, you know, that'll uh, that'll basically, you know, what you're doing is simulating a wildfire, the heat from a low-burning wildfire, and it will get a new population of these going. So it'll be a, a little bit less imperiled. And it's uh, it sucks that it's imperiled because it's a very beautiful uh, plant. It's one of those plants that, uh, you know, makes you want to die a little bit less after you've been a... Uh, you know, hanging out in the, in human society too long. All right, there we go. We'll see. Well, it started raining on my ace, but there I go. Just heated up some water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a little bit of coffee there. You know, and I, I like the Major Dickinson's blend because it's, you know, it gets me wired enough. It's got enough caffeine in it. You know, I don't really, I mean, I'll drink, I'll drink gas station piss. It's fine with me if it's got caffeine in it, but I really prefer to the uh, Major Dickinson's blend from Peach, you know, if uh, the finances allow. Anyway, there's all the Iliam, the seed. I put it in this uh, bottle of overpriced yerba, yerba mate. You can see the little black kidney-shaped seeds in there. Now I'm just going to go ahead. This water was, uh, it had bubbles in it, but it wasn't quite boiling. You don't want it to be boiling because you'll just kill the, kill the seeds. Probably 180 degrees is a good temperature. And so I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to fill this little uh, piss bottle here with some hot water. You know, let it sit, let it marinate for a while. And uh, put the cap on it, probably shake it up and with the shit, you know? Oh yeah, it's good and hot. I'll let that sit for a minute, and maybe I'll put a little bit of cool water in there, and then when I'm done, I'll go uh, create a new population of Iliam the Bakery. Oh yeah, it's amazing how much those Juniperus occidentalis really smell like piss. It really, it makes me feel like I'm on the fucking, you know, CTA, the Chicago Transit Authority, back in my young vandalicious teenage years well here's a nice dietary look at that guy nice ass there get him no money shots see look at all fileries look at those fileries multi-serious fileries they look like little hooked bricks anyway so here's my little piss jug full of uh iliam the baker eye you can see all the seeds fell down they're good seeds too they look like good seeds all the, all, the, all the chaff. You like the chaff? You like the chaff? So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take a little bit, and I'm going to undo it. I'm do it. Get the cap off, you know. And it's, it's a shame that the yerba mate that just, uh, was in this bottle before is so expensive, because it is pretty good, but I'm not going to pay three fucking dollars for it. You know, so I'll just spread it around. It just spread it, you know. Get the seeds around. No one's going to know what the shit it is, of course. And it, you know, it's, I just got it from a mile or two away from here. So this is, I wouldn't be doing this, of course, if this was not a native to the region and imperiled. But uh, human-assisted seed dispersal is actually kind of a good idea, especially for the rare stuff. So nobody will see what, what it is. And then 
you know, next July it'll just be coming up gangbusters and uh, hopefully get more people excited about this fucking rare plant. I love this. I've seen it a couple times. It always comes up after forest fires or after some jackass uh, gives it the hot water treatment in the uh, the uh, bottle. You know, so I just I heat it up, let it sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Sit there, drink my coffee, you know, read the paper and shit, look up some plants and the, the flora fucking around, you know, and then just uh, just spread it. But it does. It likes the bare soil. It does. You know, put some more up here. Uh, you know, so anyway, some of the purists might not like what I'm doing, and it's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. I can't say I really give a shit. Uh, you know, it seems like people get pissed off about stuff, you know. And especially me, I, I seem to be pretty good at doing it. So, you know, if if you're good at something, you should you should uh, pursue, those, pursue those skills. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> just going to continue doing that, spreading this around. Anyway, so hopefully we'll get this coming up. Uh, next spring to probably germinate and I don't know May or June or something and you know of course going off a uh, big pink uh, four foot tall uh, hollyhock uh, blooms in about I don't know July or August or some shit it does it does get hot as balls here in the summer you got some nice penstemons over there a variety of different buckwheats you got the sagebrush and shit it's kind of like a little uh it's kind of like a little bit of a whole high elevation in northern Nevada southern Oregon a uh, great basin thing going on right here but of course uh you know you just go over Go over a ways, you get high altitude, uh, uh, coniferous forest, there's some alpine shit. You go to the west, you get some nice uh, ultramophics and uh, some, uh, yeah, just the diversity of flora in the region. But we'll see if this uh, Iliamna comes up. I've grown a, a few of these before, but where I live, it just wasn't hot enough to get them going. You know, they, they really like the mineral soil, almost, you know, completely inorganic soil, uh, hot volcanics with the hot summers, you know, and where I live, you know, where I was trying to grow them, there just doesn't get hot enough. You know, you need you need those hot, 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 dry summers. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. Uh, uh, that's all I got for you right now. Go fuck yourself. Bye. What's at the end of that? <laughs>